Emma, you are involved with the Power Juncture uh, Events Company, correct? Yes, we run the Power Juncture Event Company. What's so unique about the Conscious Food Festival? Why should we be conscious about our food? Well, Toronto has great outdoor venues. We were lacking in this department uh, in the city as far as having an outdoor food, food festival that focuses on local and, sustain local and sustainable living. And you can make, it's amazing what difference you can make towards those efforts just through the food that you eat. So we're concentrating on local, organic, natural, healthy foods all within the province. And uh, yeah, we've got a, a lot of people that are out and interested in what they can do. And it's, it's easy little steps that people can make. It doesn't have to be a big daunting process. It shows you how easy it is. Yeah, your company, uh, you know, a lot of other unique events, but how did you come up with this idea? Why? Well, we figured that we thought it was a spot in the market that was kind of missing. You know, we we have we love other food festivals. We know there are other shows that that uh, focus on green initiatives and and what we can do for the environment. But concentrating on on food and local chefs who have relationships with local farmers, local restaurants, uh, local produce and products. We just thought that this as a focus was was missing and having it outdoors in the summertime where there was a hole there and we wanted to fill it. So we have. <laughs> in other words, you want us to be really conscious of the food that we. Exactly. I noticed in your program you said you can either be local, sustainable, and or you know, and or local, sustainable, mm -hmm. organic, ethical, yada yada, save the planet, uh, things like that. But if you have a green arm, if you are doing doing what you can uh, in order to make a, a difference and for the environment. Uh, this is the, the efforts that are people are making through food and how you can make, you know, consumers can make uh, that difference just by what they're eating. So it's, and it's not a hard thing to do. Like, this is an easy way to do it. We eat every day. Everybody is in touch with this avenue and this, this focal point of uh, making that difference. So, you know, just through the foods that you eat every day, you can make a big difference. Now, I do want to say that the second oldest profession in the world, you know the first oldest profession is, but the second oldest profession in the world is probably food, cooking. Right. Uh, why did you choose Fort York? Uh, we chose Fort York because it is a fabulous venue in the heart of Toronto. I mean, we feel like we're just at a large picnic. It feels like you're out of the city, yet you look to the look to my left, and it's the skyline. It's the CN Tower. It's all these buildings. So you've got that. It's, it's a very unique venue. And uh, a lot of people actually, when they when we've been chatting with them about why it's here, they all say, "Oh, I didn't even know this this uh, location was in the city." Or we heard people say, uh, "Last time I was here, I was six years old." So it's real. We're reintroducing people to this fabulous location, and. They wanted, uh, they wanted an event that was family oriented, and uh, we thought well, we can, this is the perfect place for us then. What are some unique features you wanted to have at this uh, Conscious Food Festival? Well, we wanted to, to uh, appeal to the nutritionists, the, the food lovers, the, the conscious people, the people who are the vegetarians. So we're trying to appeal to a little bit of uh, everybody, really. Okay. Um, what are your plans for, like, what are your long-term plans with this idea? Because I think it's a brilliant idea to be really conscious of food in many ways. Long-term plans. Get as many people as aware and as conscious as possible through what they're eating. Uh, get them to, to support local farmers. Get them to support restaurants that support local farmers and uh, producers. And uh, get everybody, you know, build, helping to, to build a sustainable community okay, and doing that through food. What is that you're drinking? I know that's a new, unusual it is drink there. a new there. product. It's called maple water. It's, 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 a, it's a local product. It's, it's water that's just slightly sweetened with real maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup syrup and uh, it's delicious. We have, we have it here at the festival. Yeah, I'm going to be interviewing him in a second. I know it's like water with maple in it. Like, what an idea. Yeah. And it's probably healthy and it's have Canadian. You, exactly. You know, healthy, maple less syrup. sugars, natural sugars, and it's only a little uh, bit of it. And uh, very thirst quenching, which we need on a day like today because it's stinking hot. Yeah, <laughs> but so we love it. So you don't have your pancake to you put your maple syrup on. You just <laughs> dump it in the water. Plain pancake, <laughs> you maple it? water on the side, and you're set. You can have it available any time. <laughs> what kind of entertainment do you have here? Actually, we have uh, quite a bit going on. We have two stages. We've got some music going on. We have you can probably hear the uh, the acapella boys in the background, which is great. They're actually roaming the the site for everybody's entertainment. And we have some speakers. We have a conscious food school with uh, people in Ontario with some chefs doing some demonstrations and a whole bunch of entertainment going on. Can you hear these songs? Yeah, let's check out the uh, acapella. Right. <laughs> um, what are the unique things you have going on here? Um, we've got a kids for zone. the whole family, right? Yeah, it's definitely a family event because. Really, the children are obviously an important part of this. So many kids in the city are sort of dislocated from where their food actually comes from. Uh, maybe haven't had the chance to set foot on a, at a real farm or see what the animals are that they're eating. So we figured this is a really good way to connect, to have your children connect the uh, the planet with their plate, uh, get them to understand a little bit more about food and, and health and being conscious. And, uh, here we go. Here we got the Yakupal boys behind us who are roaming around for some entertainment. But in the kids zone, it's great too because. 
Brothers, we actually have um, some art going on over there. They're making crazy hats out of recycled paper and newspapers. And uh, also, they're doing a mural using fruit, uh, organic, just regular fruits that are left over to sponge into the paint, painting on a mural. Yeah, I heard that the paint is used from actual uh, food. Uh, from skins of fruit. They're making fruit, different yeah. colors from uh, from actually from food wow. as, as the uh, as the paint and the supplies that they're using. And yeah, the kids are going to town over there. There's a fire truck on site. They're having a ball. Well, the fire goes with the fire, the hotness here, I yeah, think. Yeah. But I love that doing it really cools things down. Okay, what's your website again? It's consciousfoodfestival.ca. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you.